Hi friends, the right lung. Lungs are a pair of respiratory organ which is situated in the thoracic cavity on either side of the media stena. The right lung is shorter and wider than the left lung and also it is heavier than the left lung. Mainly it has three lobes, upper lobe, middle lobe and lo lower lobe and two fissures, the oblique fissure and the horizontal fissure. The presenting parts of the right lung are the apex, the base, borders, the anterior border, the posterior border and the inferior border and has two surfaces, coastal surface, medial surface. The apex is rounded, conical and it is 3 to 4 cm above the first coastal cartilage and 2.5 cm above the medial end of the clavicle. The base. The base is concave. It is related to the right dome of the diaphragm. It is more concave than that of the left lung. Borders. This is the anterior border. Anterior border is thin and it is lesser than that of posterior border. And it is vertical. Anterior border which separates the medial surface from the coastal surface. The posterior border. The posterior border is thick rounded and it is ill-defined. It is larger than that of anterior border. So it separates, it separates the medial surface from the coastal surface. Here we can see the inferior border. It is more prominent and which separates the base, the surfaces, coastal surfaces. Here we can see the smooth and convex coastal surfaces. And also here we can see the impressions, so many impressions is here. So this impression is because of the ribs and the coastal cartilages here. In the mid axillary line, eight ribs are related. We can also see the uh, fissures, the horizontal fissure and the oblique fissure. Then it is the medial surface. This medial surface is divided into two parts, the posterior vertebral and the anterior mediastinal part. So the posterior vertebral part is related to the upper 10 thoracic vertebrae bodies and their intervertebral disc. The anterior mediastinal surface, here we can see the structures, we call it as the root of the lung. So this part is called the hilum of the lung. So in this part, here we can see some structures which enters and exit through the hilum. So most anteriorly superior pulmonary vein, most inferiorly inferior pulmonary vein. Above the superior pulmonary vein, we can see another uh, tubular opening which is called uh, pulmonary artery. Now behind that we can see bronchus. In the bronchus here we can see a bronchus above the pulmonary artery, we call it as a parterial bronchus. A bronchus below the pulmonary artery, we call it as hyparterial bronchus. The relation anterior to posterior, pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery, then bronchus. From above downwards, a parterial bronchus, pulmonary artery, then hyparterial bronchus, then inferior pulmonary vein. From before backwards, it is pulmonary vein, then pulmonary artery and the bronchus. We can see the impressions on the medial cell surface. So this space, this is the cardiac impression. Inferior vena cava is related here, superior vena cava is related here. We can see the an arch, arch of the acegus vein above the hilum. So this part here, impression of the right brachiocephalic trunk. Behind that, impression of the uh, trachea. Esophagus is related on the vertebral uh, part. And anterior to the hilum, on the right lung it is a right phrenic nerve. Posterior to the root, there is a right vagus nerve. Lobes and fissures of the... So in the right lung we have three lobes which is separated by two fissures. Upper lobe and middle lobe are separated by a horizontal fissure. These upper and middle lobe are separated from the inferior lobe is by the oblique fissure. So the oblique fissure begins from the mediastinal surface above and behind the hilum. It passes upwards and backwards and it cuts the posterior border about 6 cm from the apex. It passes downwards obliquely along the coastal surface and coinciding with the fifth intercostal space in the mid axillary line and it cuts the inferior border at the sixth costochondral junction about 7.5 cm from the about 7.5 cm from the mid line of the body. Horizontal fissure only in the right lung. It extends horizontally from the oblique fissure at the mid axillary line up to the fourth costal cartilage. Anatomical position of the right lung, we should understand apex face upwards and base directed downwards. Anterior border faces forwards, 
posterior border faces backwards and apex face upwards and the base which face directed downwards the medial surface towards inwards the body and uh, the coastal surface is placed outward the body thank you